What's going on my crew? This is Rusty and welcome to another episode of Rusty S Discovers, not Survives, Discovers. In today's episode, um, we're going to start off by talking about this, but then we are going to continue down the quest line to get the filtered hopper and probably this, and then maybe the water wheel depending on how far we get, but I wanted to show you guys I went ahead and I tried this. I made a whole bunch of these axles because I figured, you know, we're probably going to be using a lot of them anyways. Um, might as well make a whole bunch. And it only allows you to go three. So we can't really sustainably use the windmill um, for things, uh, much of anything. Um, but if I can actually climb up here normally, there we go. Uh-oh. Uh, I can still use it, and I'm going to, um, by making a little bit of a makeshift thing, and then we're going to go ahead with the saw. Uh, you guys will notice, too, that I have not, um, built the base out. I sort of ran out of time because I was trying to do this project. And, uh, next episode, we're also probably not going to have the base redone, but the one after next, will I'll definitely be getting to it because I, I've been looking at different blocks and trying to find a good palette. Anyways, uh, onto the technical things. Um, what we need are these pieces here. Uh, and the way we do that is, uh, we go ahead and we make the siding. Ignore the dog. And then we go ahead and plane that one more time. And then one more time again, and we'll get the corners. So, that's all we need that for. And now we can head back down here. And get inside our house. Our base. I try and power through. But that dog, man... Uh, so, I went ahead also, I got some more, uh, coal, because we've been really using a lot of castor, uh, castor oil. Um, that's not castor, or creosol. Why am I calling it castor? Alright, and then, uh, whoops. Man, that dog is really going wild right now. Alright, two of those. And then the only thing we need now is the wooden pressure plate. And now we've got the filtered hopper. So I don't exactly know how this works. I've never used one of these. So let's consult our quest book. Um, ooh, there's a beware. Let's read the whole thing. While it appears deceptively simple, it's basically a, hole, a box with a hole in it. The hopper allows the construction of many advanced mechanisms. Items that fall into the top of the hopper are added to its inventory. The hopper also contains an extra inventory slot in which you may place various items that act as a filter so you can determine what items can enter the hopper's inventory. Beware when filtering ground netherrack, dropping more than seven units of ground netherrack in the top of the ho unpowered hopper Without replacing the soul sand will cause the hopper to break, destroying one of the gears, the wooden corner, and the wooden pressure plate. It will also spawn you a cuddly new friend. Uh-oh. Okay. So now we've got the hellfire power, and then we'll be making the hibachi. Uh, okay, so let's talk about hellfire. Hellfire. So we want one of these, and the way we're going to do that is through the cauldron, but we need hellfire dust. So we'll do put the ground netherrack in the hopper, and we'll need to filter it with this uh, soul sand. So it doesn't look like we need this machine to do anything other than uh, what it's doing. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here for right now. Okay, so... Um, let's go get some soul sand and see if we have any hellfire powder, netherrack dust, or whatever we call it. We do. We have ground netherrack. Um, and then we need more netherrack because we're probably going to need, uh, quite a bit. And 
soul sand. Put the soul sand in, and beware. There might be some interesting noises, yeah. Okay, we've got Hellfire Dust, and then we go ahead and we put that in the cauldron here. And that's going to cook up. I said that's going to cook up. Oh gosh, we need eight of it. Hellfire. And... Do we have more soul sand? No, that's just regular dirt. So let's get one more soul sand because we're going to need it, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh gosh! Okay, so that's what it was talking about. It said not at one at a time, though. Okay, well, we got the dust that we needed. I guess I misunderstood what it was talking about. Did we... Oh, look at this. We got some niter from the from the gas. Ah, uh, well, that machine was easy to make anyways, so. Okay, so we got the concentrated hellfire. Uh, we just need to figure out where to put it. Uh, 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 we don't need these seeds anymore. Um, let me actually empty the inventory over here a little bit because we have quite a lot. All right. Uh, so we'll go ahead and accept this quest. And now we have the hibachi and the kiln. So... These are two actually really important things that are going to be um, critical to getting us a smell tree, which is where we can really start to get into upgrading all of our tools very easily. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. But let's talk about the hibachi here. Um, if we go hibachi here, we're going to need three hellfire, uh, a heating element which is blaze powder, which we can pretty easily get. I think we have some already uh, in the cauldron uh, with some redstone. Um, and what else? The bellows. Okay, so we're going to need to get some leather as well. And the rest of it's pretty easy. I think next episode, uh, what I'd like to do is actually go out and get do a mining adventure uh, down there to get some more gold and in the nether to get some nether rack and, and such so we'll probably do a little adventure then but uh, let's make a water wheel this one's uh, gonna be pretty the easiest way for us to get water on the inside uh, or, or power on the inside to do some of these things uh, that way we can focus on staying inside of our base rather than having to go out into the wild. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is water. This guy right here. Uh, we need a wooden gear and then we need these wooden blades and these water wheel segments. Okay. Um, that's not good. We might not be able to do that in this episode, believe it or not. Because I don't have nearly enough leather by spawning these guys. And then now we've got cows. So this is awesome. All right. Um, all right, so we're going to take in some wheat here, and we are going to bring it over and feed our cows. And that's going to give us a baby cow. Sweet. 
All right, we're good to go. Uh, that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. Um, next episode, we're going to go in the caving system, uh, free up our inventory, go into the caving system, and go crazy. Uh, I want to do some mining. Uh, now that we've got a pickaxe to be able to do it, we'll grab a whole bunch of ores and different things and have a grand old time. Uh, we should be able to get lots of torches now that we've got tons of this. Uh, and then we'll, I don't think we're going to go into the nether because all we need is nether rack. So we should be good there. But uh, like I said, that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, uh, make sure to give it a like. And if you really liked it, then consider hitting that subscribe button. But until next time, happy mining and crafting.